issue in Arizona, and especially so among our senior citizens. So this morning, I'm taking you inside a Valley nonprofit giving back in healthy ways and changing lives. Shaking things up, healthy things at Esperanza in Phoenix. Here in the Valley, um, the bulk of our work is uh, health education. Five decades and counting, this Valley nonprofit has deep Arizona roots. All of those onions came from our garden. Um, and and she's not crying about it. <laughs> With help from volunteers, Moises Mejia runs the Stove to Table program. Every Tuesday, preparing 200 hot meals loaded with nutrients to make life better for others. What we do is we make healthy meals for seniors living in subsidized housing. Since uh, all of our meals are for uh, a population with a high incidence of chronic illness, um, we're very aware of the sodium content of our food. So we don't use anything canned. I make all our, all our broths from scratch. Using scraps from onions, celery, and cauliflower too, Mejia's labor of love for these seniors starts in the garden. It is a labor of love. Yeah. It is. I spent 15 years working as an engineer and having work that didn't have a lot of reward, right? It's great. I loved it. But the kind of reward that I feel at the end of a Tuesday can't get that anywhere else. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> it smells good in there. Lucia Abetia first heard about Esperanza during the COVID-19 pandemic. They would bring like sanitizer, Clorox, that kind of stuff. Feeling alone, unable to see her neighbors, she found hope from a knock at the door. It's just so amazing that they have all of this and that they're willing to share with us you know, and, and give us something to look forward to. Like every Tuesday, we know we don't have to cook. Now she says being here for the first time and seeing a group of people she's never met work like this for her health is something to feel good about. They have given us seniors hope. That's amazing. Yeah, giving them hope. And, I mean, that's what Esperanza is all about. Just a feel-good place to be, and it smelled so good in there. Uh, how wonderful, though, that you you capture the story and really the the emotion of it, but also the fact that people out there care and yes. they're willing to take action and help everyone. It is so genuine. I want to let you know, by the way, speaking of caring, Moises Mejia also tells me that they couldn't do this without all of the time put in by volunteers. When we were there, volunteers were coming and going, but they need more help. And I've posted everything you need to know right there along with this story. It's up now at abc15.com, Iris. It's fantastic to see.